Hey, what's going on guys? Drakester King here. Welcome back to another episode here on MC Hub Skyblock once again. It's been a little bit since my last episode and the reason being is, well, I've been doing Pixelmon, I've been doing Prisons, and I've also been doing Hypixel Skyblock. As you guys know, if you haven't checked out any of those series, go ahead. They're all going to be linked to the top right, if not already have been. But before we get into this episode, I would just like to say, please like the video, subscribe, hit the little notification bell. Subscribing is free. You can always undo it later you might think you're actually subscribed you might not be because youtube sometimes unsubscribes to people so just double check and if not and you find yourself coming back regularly please subscribe helps me out a lot will help us reach our goal of a thousand subs we have grown this channel quite a bit since the first video on this channel i'm very appreciative to you guys about that i haven't said that enough to you guys but thank you very much so i got a couple ideas for this episode this is obviously the first episode of this season if you guys didn't know it is a brand new season and we got a brand new island here if you can tell from a little bit before but there is no mining system anymore they took out the cave system so there is no mining mining robots have been revamped i don't know what they do i'm actually very excited to find out what they do so the goal for this episode is i want to try to get a lot of robots because the beginning of the season if you guys don't know robots are everything that's how you make the most amount of money and that is how you start your progression to be able to buy spawners because if I go into shop, if you guys don't remember or haven't watched any episodes before, Guardian Spawners are pretty much the most profitable ones, and they cost a billion each. And if you look at my scoreboard, I only have 11 mil, and I only got that from buying keys from voting. If you guys haven't voted, do slash vote. You get a premium kit as well. So I've done all my kits, well, yesterday, so I guess I do have some kits. And if you guys do have ranks as well, make sure to claim them, because you can get shard pouches, large shard pouches, and everything. And I don't use these, so I'm just going to throw those out. I'm doing it for the kits. So opening up those keys, I did get an iron farm robot. So I want to get this guy's place down, but I also want to upgrade him so he's a little bit more efficient. I've also gone ahead right away, and as I've done on all my previous episodes since the generator is added, and I changed the generator over to overclocked. And I did get one upgrade put in for comments here, and that was from the keys as well. So let's just go up ahead and open up these right away. We get 6k shards. Nice. We still need a ton more. A booster. Small credits. Oh, 500k. Not bad. Small credits. 1,000. And from this, we can get a maximum of 32k. So let's hope we get a high amount. 10k. Almost 11k. Not bad. Not the greatest, but that's all right. So what I want to do right away is I want to go ahead and I want to jump into the dungeons. And the next dungeon is in 26 minutes. So I'll see you guys in 26 minutes. Okay, so before the dungeon actually starts up, I want to go ahead and enchant my axe with a little bit of sharpness. Because if you don't know, swords actually do less damage than axes do. Axes do 9 damage a hit, and swords actually only do 7. So I want to go, go ahead and chuck some sharpness onto this axe here. We can do that by doing slash enchanter, or you guys can come on down to the enchanter on your island here. So let's go into axes here. And let's find sharpness. There it is. So we can go ahead and we can actually chuck nine levels on. So let's go ahead and do that. Make that on par with the sword there. And I believe that will also bring up our damage as well. So I was thinking I want to go ahead and place down this iron robot. But the thing is, it doesn't actually say the radius. So I have to actually go ahead and place this guy down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's only a 5x5 five five radius. That's not very much. And with how slow this guy actually mines everything and only mines every 9.5 seconds there's really no point in me making the farm i want to make so i'm actually just gonna go ahead because this island does actually have a little bit of crops and everything automatically i'm thinking of going ahead and chucking it down on the carrots right here so while i'm away it'll just keep farming up so i'll see you guys when the dungeon is open all right so dungeons have just opened up so let's go ahead and run into one of these dungeons just a fair warning i am doing cfs like kind of starting out a strategy that i heard about from some friends i'm seeing if it works i know cfs are supposed to be 50 50 but i want to see if this actually works and we actually got a chest right behind us so i want to check this chest out but i don't want to die from these guys so let's go ahead and eat this golden apple here oh yeah we got generator fuel from this i forgot about that so this chest opens up in 20 minutes so that's still a fairly long time because dungeon like i said did just open up so i'm gonna go ahead farm up a bunch of these mobs trying to gain up generator fuel and i'm gonna keep looking for some chests look like that there's another one so i'm gonna keep looking for these chests hopefully find a chest room and if you guys don't actually know how to find chest room which most of you probably do but if you don't all you want to do is run along here for example and follow the wall and there's a chest room right there i do believe i just have to make sure i don't die before i get to it and here we go here is a chest room this has three chests in it 21 minutes 10 minutes or 11 
and then nine minutes. So I'm gonna run around, look for more of these, continue killing a bunch of mobs, and if we get some, we gotta let you guys know. Okay, so we ran up the dungeon there, and we did get a couple of things. We got a couple of pouches and a little bit of fuel. As you can see, we have 13 million credits and 22k shards. But along doing with that, we got a ton of fuel here in the chest, and we did also get three robots. We got a iron grinder, we got a diamond grinder, which those two are going to be very helpful for when we actually get spawners, so I'm happy we got those. And then we also got a miner. Now, if you remember, in one of the previous clips, I did mention miners have changed because they removed the cave system. So something else I've been asking around, I asked a couple staff members that are on the server, the one I asked is actually offline now, so sorry, I can't give him a shout out, but he did help me figure out what these miners are. And with the new cave system, well, I figured that there might be a way to generate ores on your island because otherwise these would be useless and all you'd be doing is mining cobblestone. Cobblestone doesn't work too much. So I was asking around and he said, if I look in my island levels, if you can see the third one down there, we are currently at ore generator tier one. Now, if we go up to, let's say tier 28, we got ore generator tier four. So that is different kind of ores that are generated on the island or percent chance or whatever it is. I haven't figured it out yet as we are still at level one. So we need a little bit more money. So I made a little cobblestone generator here while I was testing everything out. And well, then I got told you need higher level islands. So let's go ahead and upgrade our island a little bit right now. Let's upgrade it to, oh, I want to get 28, but I don't have enough for that. Wait, I might. I just might. After I claim all my kits once again. Okay, there we go. We got enough money now to get our level 28. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we got tier four generator, which is very nice. And if I start mining this up, I think we'll get the chance of coal or something. I really don't know. Oh, cost completed. Cool. What quest did I have? I always forgot about these. Let's go ahead and grab that up. And we got a small credit pouch. Cool. I also received an iron miner robot. So we got two miners. And this doesn't say you can't combine it, so maybe we can combine these up together. So maybe it's actually now worth doing the quests. I'm not too sure. Okay, so I've done a bit more research by asking staff members there. So thank you to Dark there for assisting me with all of this. So what I was asking him was, what is the percentage of generating a tier or? And he said he's up to like 176 or something like that. And he's only generating lapis. So and he said he only had a 75% chance, so on and so forth. So I was kind of curious on what percentage I have with a tier four or tier three, I should wait, nope, yeah, tier four. And he said to hover over the cobblestone at the bottom of the island levels. So we have a 97% chance of cobblestone and a 3% chance of coal ore. But we have a long way to go for this and we can't upgrade anymore. So let's see what, how much it actually takes to get to level 176, like he was saying. Okay, so 176, we need, oh, 112 billion all right that's a long way to go we definitely need to start getting more robots and everything we already got the farming one down that's not making us too much money but that's all right so the next thing i actually want to do is go ahead and i want to enchant my sword here with souls because souls is still the best way of getting shards so let's get 21 levels of souls there we go so now once we grind up some mobs we're going to get some souls and the reason why i want to put it on the sword right away is because the first spawner I actually am thinking about getting, besides the Guardian, because I might actually be able to purchase that out of Auction House, is I want to get a Villager spawner. Now, the reason being is for collections. And if I go into collections, we go to the Grinder. This is something I really haven't touched upon, but I did a little bit before in a previous episode. For Guardians, you need it. Oh, I guess this Pandas? Maybe the spawner does change. We have a Sheep spawner, but we don't actually have a Panda spawner. So how much does a Sheep spawner or a Panda spawner go for? Let me look. So Panda spawner is 450k, so I'll actually go ahead and place this down right now. I'll start grinding them out, and I'm actually going to go ahead and start up that collection. So there we go. That's started up. So once this Panda spawner is going, we'll be able to start grinding. So let's go ahead and chuck that in our slot number five. There we go. And we got all the vote key to open up also. So quickly open up the vote key. We got a medium shard pouch. Nice. 1,500 shards. Cool. So I'm going to wait for another dungeon to open up, and then we'll go run that up. And I'll in the meantime, I'll also grind out some of those pandas and everything else and try to gain a bit more so i'll see you guys after i run up that dungeon because i don't want it to be too repetitive for you guys because i have done that many times in the past okay so one more dungeon complete and we got a lot of chests like we got top three amount chests we got 10 
number one got 15 so we were a few shots short but that's all right but we did get a lot of stuff we got a ton of generator fuel we got a few recipes i haven't actually looked at these yet so we've got a crafting recipe for cookies not too good we're not gonna be using that we got one for enchanted emerald that's a little bit better we can at least automate that and then we got one for enchanted gold we can automate that also but then we got a couple keys here and also a diamond miner robot so let's go over the keys right now let's try to open these up from most common to the rarest one we got a gold robot another grinder fantastic we need a lot of those now we got a legendary and two mythical so which ones are legendaries are more rare so let's go ahead and open up the mythicals first there we go got another legendary very nice we got an iron robot of a grinder cool we got some robots combined now so let's roll these two legendaries now we got a purple nickname nice and another purple nickname that we can't claim because we just claimed their other one so let's go back to our island and go into our chest here now we have a iron grinder we can actually combine into gold gold into a diamond and our diamond into an emerald very nice so now we got a couple miners here we've got a gold iron so once we are able to get another iron we can combine that up into an emerald as well which would be very very nice for us so let's go ahead chuck all our fuel into here also along with our recipes i'll probably just end up selling that but that's all right but we do have our pandas right here that we can grind on out to get our grinding skill up and get our collections up a little bit also so i'm gonna grind this up for a bit i'll see you guys when another dungeon is open or after the dungeon i should say all right so another run later and we didn't get as many chests this run as we did the last one but we did get i think about four and from those chests we got another gold grinder so that's very nice another grinder added to the collection we got a iron ingot recipe so we can automate that as well and then we got a gold ingot as well so we still need collection box for all these auto crafting recipes so I, that is definitely not gonna be in this episode because those things are expensive but we did get that gold grinder robot like i said very happy about and two keys so i'm gonna go open this very quick uncommon there we go we got a pouch and then the rare and we got a rare generator upgrade so that's always gonna be helpful for our island generator upgrades you won't complain about that we got a basic common and now a rare one so if we get another basic common or a rare we're gonna get upgraded to an epic which will be nice. now on to the next dungeon okay so another dungeon later and i think that was the last one for the night as it is 1 a.m for me and they're every hour but i did get a couple of good things from this dungeon not as many as i did before for robot wise but we did get a lumberjack robot not very important a lot more fuel obviously as we do every single time but we also got this dimensional ingot recipe for 2,000 coins per so that one's gonna be very good but we also got an enchanted ender pro for 2250 which is also very good. so those are two recipes right there i'm very happy about along with a bunch of keys so i'm gonna go open up those once again let's open up our two rares first medium credit pouch and medium shard pouch nice so two mythical keys let's go teal nickname not bad not really what i'm looking for gold robot please be a good one it's a farmer that's actually something i've been looking for so do we have any other no we don't this is actually gonna be our first farmer robot and that's actually oh, wait. <laughs> got an iron one right there well i'm gonna go ahead and check this in the chest here as well and when we get another iron one whether i purchase it actually i am able to get another iron because if i look at my slash quests our next one is for 200 wheat and that'll actually give us an iron farmer robot so we'll be able to combine our robots up to a diamond which will be a little bit better so I'm gonna plant down a little bit of wheat. I don't think there's wheat in PVE, so I'll have to farm this manually on my island. And then I'll let you guys know when I've got that done. All right, so I've completed the quest, built up the farm behind me, obviously, to do that. And now we have unlocked the next tier and we have got the farming room. So for our next quest, we need to kill 35 skeletons. That's not gonna be too bad. We need to go in PVE and do that. Or we, even better, we can just continue running up some dungeons, kill 35 skeletons very easily, as we probably do almost every single dungeon run. And yeah, so that'll be an easy quest onto the next one. I believe that will give us an epic generator upgrade. Nice, we'll be able to get a, I think it's almost a legendary or rare one too. I can't remember exactly which one at the moment and a large credit pouch. So that'll be a little bit helpful. So now that we actually have this farmer robot here, we can go ahead 
quickly sell off this guy. I've sold this guy a couple of times. The most he's gotten me is a million. So nothing too fancy. But we can combine him up into gold. And with the one we got from our dungeon run. The last one up into a diamond. So we'll go ahead and chuck that guy down for right now. And we're going to be doing something with this guy in a little bit. Alright, so it is a day later. And I've done a few things between clips. First thing I did is I purchased the collection box because I found one for super cheap, like 10k and the most of them are going for like 30, so why not? And then what I also did is I completed the collection for the first one, so we're ready to upgrade this to tier 2. There we go, collection upgraded, so now we just have to kill pandas, oh my god. So I gotta make a panda grinder? Are you kidding me? But now we got a 1.1 times sell multi. He's from Guardians every single time we get one, so now I have to go ahead skill 53k might as well round that to 54 pandas for the next collection so i'm gonna do that between clips or episodes or whatever it ends up being because that's gonna be a long continuous thing it's not just gonna be this episode this farmer is doing a bit of work i've already sold him once he gave me six million so that was nice i purchased a couple of golden apples and the next things i also did is if i go into my quests i did a few of these and now we're up to kill 85 wither skeletons but we completed a whole bunch of other ones as you can see here so, complete this one. Harvest 250 Nether Wart. Gonna get a rare key from that. Very nice. Mine 75 Beacons. And Endermite Spawner. That's actually very good. Mine 350 Cobblestone, 2000 Shards. And then this one here, kill 35 Skeletons for an Epic Generator upgrade and large credit pouch. So, let's claim that up there. Now we come into our generator and grab. Oh, it is an Epic. Ooh. Never mind. We don't need to grab anything. There we go. So now we have a basic common rare and an epic. So if we get a basic common rare or epic, we're going to upgrade to legendary, which is very nice. So now we're going to hold on to this collection box. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and chuck it in here. Okay, so I've done a bit of grinding on the pandas back there. And I have up to 31k shards. I also opened up a couple of keys from voting. And I got a basic generator upgrade. So we can go ahead and claim all of our generator upgrades. And now we can combine them all the way up to a legendary. There we go. Throw that in there. Now we got one legendary upgrade. So the next thing we can do now is if we go into auction house here, we can go ahead and buy a guardian spawner for 20k. So there we go. Save on a billion. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and build ourselves up a grinder for these grinding robots to go absolutely ham on. Oh, let's do it. All right, so here we go. It is all done. We have it in the center of the chunk, and I tried to make it kind of look somewhat appealable. If you don't have the chunks up, and you kind of can't tell. And each spawner will go on top of one of these just like that. Actually, I have this the wrong way around. So let's pick that guy up right there and place him right down there. Cool. And there's our one guardian. He falls down onto that little pad down there. And now we just need our section for our robots. So now we just build out like this. I'm going to build out. Oh, that's actually perfect. One, two, three. That might actually be too far, but I'm not too sure. And emerald right there. What's our radius? A five by five. Nice. And okay, they need to be one more out. Pick you up. Place you there. And place you there. So now these guys can grind away at our guard. So now the only thing left to do is come on over to our generator, take some fuel from this guy here, and throw it on in here. All right, so now that that is up and going, I have purchased up a little bit of glass because I want to place down this farmer on something a little more efficient. So 
I want to build up a cocoa bean farm. And for this, I'm going to build a 10 by 10 because the radius of that guy over there is a 9 by 9 or 9 blocks in every single direction. So I want to go ahead and place that down. Once you level up the robot a little bit more, it gets bigger. But this is what we've got for now. It's not going to be too hard to level it up. So let's go ahead and build this up. All right, so there we go. The farm's all done here. Now all we need to do is go into shop, purchase up a couple cocoa beans. I forgot how expensive cocoa beans are. Let's buy a couple stacks just like that. And now, so something a lot of people don't actually realize when planting down cocoa beans, you can actually just go like this to plant them all. And it's a lot simpler. You don't actually have to hit every single block. You can just hit that block, fly around, placing against the ground, and it will auto place it where you need it. Okay, so there we go. All the cocoa beans are placed down. So now what we need to do, come on over here, pick up our robot and fly him over here and place him down there. And now he can start grinding away. And I just remembered I need to log an alt on right over here. So these guys are AFK. Okay. All right, there we go. So my alt is on AFK there. It is also AFK this on over here just because of the range of alts. And I believe one account AFK is an entire island. So doesn't have to be invited to your island, just has to be on your island. So that's going well. These guys are grinding away. It hasn't even been 10 minutes and he's got a nice 11%. So let's go ahead, not the 1%, I want the 2% and sell that guy off for 9 million and 3 million. Oh yeah, that's some money. And then let's go ahead and sell this dude too for another 2.2 million. And with that, we'll bring us to a 51 million and we can get more island levels. Really? We're that short. It's 51.7 million. We have 51.6. <sighs> Give me a second. All right, there we go. Now we can actually upgrade it. So let's go ahead, upgrade him to there. And that'll give us four generator tier level five and a little bit of a cell multiplier. And that'll bring our island rank to 420. I swear, these things aren't planned. Oh, wait, no, no, man. Probably 286. If you guys understood, you understood. If you didn't, you didn't. It's all right. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, so I've edited the video up to this point. I've been kind of editing it after every clip while I've been waiting for dungeons to open. So it really hasn't been that long. It's maybe been five, ten minutes. And the Emerald Robot is up to 24% and the Gold Robot up to 14%. So let's go ahead and sell this off right now. Making a total of 18.9 million. Another 6.2 and 13.39. We are making bank and that's not even with a booster that's a lot of pandas all right so i think that is actually going to do it for this episode here guys thank you guys for watching i am so sorry again for there being a long time between skyblock episodes i'm going to definitely be recording more of these as i have so many videos planned so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did like subscribe hit the little notification bell like i said at the beginning of the video subscribe it's free you're already coming back anyways or if you're not even already coming back it's your first video subscribe more content come go watch all the other videos those those, those are good too yeah all right so i'll see you guys in the next one bye